analogic rangefinder is by no means a new tool. I have one here. It has a slider, just like a regular analogic rangefinder, like the ones used by the very primitive black powder shooters. It works by sliding the piece between these two edges. You have to place the tool at a set distance to your mouth. It has a mouthpiece. And uh, you have to place the silhouette of the person in between these two edges. But here's the catch. You get blurry edges or a blurry person out there. I'm show you. My invention is trying to mitigate this effect by providing a pinhole. You no longer fix this in your mouth, but you get sharp edges and a sharp silhouette. So I try to improve the estimate of the distance. So construction is really easy. You have to make a long strip of paper. Make sure it's parallel. I've already done it. And we fold it in half. Here we take double thickness of our roller and a spare piece of paper. The double thickness, what are we gonna do? We're gonna take just enough paper to wrap around the first strip of paper a couple of times, like so. We draw our triangle, which I've already done here. We have to make sure we make a perfect cut in here with the slider in between the two strips of paper, like so. Now we have our first part of the rangefinder, the slider and the main body. We get a secure with some cello tape here. About this spare piece of paper that came from here, you just roll it over itself and bend it over. And in the last bit of it, you spare the paper because you first of all have to cut a window through it. And then with the spare paper, you bend over and poke a hole through it. So all the rest of the paper is just for rigidity. Now you have both pieces, you just have to put a cord in between of them, poke a hole through here, poke a hole through there, and you've got yourself your very own rangefinder. I've got mine here from the video. You can calibrate with this height, or you can calibrate with this height, which is also variable, and put markings in here or in here. So in order to calibrate, you get a put the pinhole close to your eye. I've already done this with the camera of my phone. And you get a set a known distance to your friend. And place the first marking at your known distance over this edge. In this case, 3 meters, which I've already counted. If we go double the distance, it should go to half the picture. Now to 9 meters. There you are. So, quick test at home with the rangefinder attached to the phone. The blurriness of the image is because We've got already our paper pinhole over the camera of the phone. There is Alex. I've got a laser rangefinder here. I'm pointing at its knee. Five point ninety-nine over the laser rangefinder, and we're going to try our paper one. I think just like that and uh, we've got six meters exactly so it works six meters